Hey guys, I've just been informed that our bus to Nara, which is where we're going today, has just arrived. So there it is, Cherry Bus right there. I think these come every every half an hour it's supposed to be, but they don't actually always come on that time every time, if you know what I mean. So sometimes, I don't know, it's one every hour, then hour and a half, then, then two will come in 20 minutes. So it really depends, but we were lucky. We've literally only got here for about, I don't know, five minutes and it's already here. So I don't know what that's gonna signify. Is this great one, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it is great, right? So we're on the bus now, guys. Let's see what it's like. Right, so the head, I think I can't just about stand up. I have to crunch a wee bit, but there's loads of space on the bus actually, which is good. You don't always get that. And I think the shade has actually been on this bus for quite a long time because it is quite cold compared to outside actually. So yeah, literally just got here. It probably is gonna wait, I don't know, a while until the state's filled up a wee bit more or until it reaches the time it's meant to go. So I don't really know how long we're gonna be waiting here at this point. But you know what, guys? I've got this nice view of Aberlon just to look at. There's the bus station where we would have been waiting for a long time anyway, that we didn't have to today. But we may as well be sitting on the bus waiting rather than waiting over there, I suppose. At least we know we've got it. Well guys, so we're leaving Aberlan now. I've got this 40 in my hands. I probably shouldn't have this, it'll just blow away or something. But yeah, I've got that. I think that's how much it costs. We're leaving Aberlan. I think it maybe takes about half an hour or something like that to get to Nara. There's a guy up here that we pay, so he'll be here soon and we'll find out exactly how much to pay. Hey man, how are you? All good. How much is it to Nara? 40 each. Right, there's 40 there from me and I think... Are you paying for it? Guys, I think I'm getting a free ride here. I don't think I have to pay with my 40. Hey. What's up? There you go, on. Thanks very much, brother. Thank you. Sell them up. Thank you. All right, off the bus, this is Nara. There's actually not loads going on here right at this moment, but I think that we're gonna be heading somewhere to do a few errands first and foremost. Obviously, first impressions here. Never seen this place before in my life. Right, guys, so as I said, on is a way to do some messages, but I've worked up quite a first, actually. And over here, I think I see some drink of some sort. It actually looks kind of cool, and you can see all the different ice and all in that, too. I'm not too sure if it is a milk coconut drink. That looks like Black Gulliman, actually. But we'll find out what the price is, obviously, guys, and maybe give it a wee try here. Let's see. Uh, oh, hiya there. I can't think hop on. I would like to maybe try this drink over here. Ben Bezos. What is it, first and foremost? Is it coconut? It is coconut. Guys, I'm not too sure if it is coconut or not, but I think I can smell, and I've just watched this lady put the actual powder and she's making up some sort of drink there. Yeah, that's the sort of powder, so like sugar going on. And I think that that is what kind of makes up everything here. Yeah, man, how are you? Yeah, I'm, thing happen. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I came all the way from Aberlan today. And then? And then, I don't know, go back to Aberlan later. When I'm with my girlfriend, she's What's doing- What's your YouTube channel? Dylan McClure. Okay, I'll follow that. Subscribe. Yeah, it's subscribe. Yes, subscribe. Okay. Follow Facebook, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, thank you for buying us. Yeah, that's all right, man. Yeah, thank you. Here's the donut. What is this? What's this? This is the Gulaman, uh, local uh, juices from the Philippines. Ah, so this is the Gulaman. Yeah, Gulaman. I'll have. Yeah, yeah, just uh, milk and uh, water and. Uh... So many ices. Yeah, all the ice. No, it looks damn good. Uh -huh, like, it's can, I, can I please try one? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks so much, man. It's about 10 pesos. Uh, it's 15, and this is 10 pesos. Okay, I'll take, the, right, I'll, I'll right. take the 10 just to, okay, just to give it a wee okay. quench, guys. Just the 10 to start off okay. with. I'm pretty sure it will be good, but we'll get that sorted. Coming up, yes, yeah. indeed. Here we go, guys. This is 10 pesos. Ten Look pesos. juice from the Philippines. Lovely. Good time. Very, very nice. I'll get you the money first and foremost. Yeah. I will set that there. Take my drink. This is your change. Thank get my sir. change. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Yeah. Mm. If you can see there, it's got like bits of jelly in it. And I think that's the Gulaman seaweed jelly. I have tried it before. I've actually made that at home. But then it's mixed in with this strawberry sort of flavoring there. And you can maybe see that. 
It tastes like a like a crusher milkshake if that makes any sense. Hey man. Well, uh, it's so refreshing with the jelly and everything. So nice after that long bus journey. All right, guys. So just got here in this sort of area. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the area in El Nido, if you know what I mean, where there were all these wee sort of stalls with the sunglasses, the bags, what have you. Hi, hey, man. Everything like that. And then the only difference really is is the scenery and the setting that it's in. Obviously, last time there was this big rock up there in that direction, but this. This is pretty much the center, like near the station where all the trikes are doing their thing and everything. But up in the distance there, it's past all the clothing section and I think it's gonna be all the sort of vegetables and things like that. Okay, so I'm not really on the lookout for any vegetables or anything like that, but I do wanna see what it's like in here, guys. So we'll give it a walk through. Yeah, so it looks like it's pretty much where everyone comes to do their food shopping, for their home cooking, whatever. There's lots of different, I don't know what that is. It looks like a marinade of some sort. And then obviously we've got all the seasonings. I think that's like a chutney or something of some style, maybe with tomato paste in it. I don't know. And then all the sort of vegetables that you can do, do just with your dinner, whatever you're cooking. The magic syrup, that's a big staple here, that thing over there. That is used all the time as a replacement of salt. This, this area is actually a lot bigger from what I thought. Look at the whole big roof and everything up there. Um, yeah, it's actually a bit surprising from outside. I think there's a fish vendor down here. I don't know how long I've got here to be honest with you guys. Like look at all these different, I think that's the, the Gabby or something. That's quite nice. It's like a, it, yeah, that's, that's like a potato, isn't it, Gabby? How much is it per kilo of that? 70. Can I get a quarter of a kilo? Could I get a quarter of a kilo of that, Gabby? We can do that for adding the stuff later. We can do, we do a lot of home cooking back home, but we'll see what the crack is there. There's a nice Gabby getting chosen. She's made the best ones now. A uh, quarter of kilo. There it is being made, guys. Your buttons being pressed right in front of our eyes, which is good. So a quarter of a kilo? A quarter? One kilo, sir. No, no, no. A quarter of a kilo. So one fourth. One fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. A, a quarter. A quarter. So this is how it's done properly. One bit. Is that what it is? That worked out quite well then. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Hi. Guys, we've got our Gabby. Which for some reason means night too. I don't know why that is, but it's the same word. So there you go. Thank you very much. Selling that. Right, yes, the randomness continues. Okay, I wasn't really expecting to get, to get a bit of Gabby, but I was talking about it the other night and I thought, you know what, whenever I've seen it, I may as well just get it for the crack. I'll have a quick look at the fish market here just to see what it is like. I'm not too sure if things are just wrapping up now, but. Obviously the colour of everything is going to be kind of cool. There's all the wee shrimps and then the colour of the nice sort of silverish. They look interesting. What the heck is that? We're still about to get back to Nara obviously. So I mean, I don't know how long that will keep if you know what I mean. But the colour of that is actually really, really cool. I don't think that I've actually seen that sort of thing before. Again, the space just continues way, 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 way down there. So honest to goodness guys, there's all the... What's that? Oh my god, the smell of that is so, so funky. It's the dried fish, if you know what I mean. Dried fish, indeed. I don't think I'll be having any dried fish today, but just having a wee gander at it, thank you. But onwards and upwards, guys. I think if we head down here, actually down here looks kind of cool too. I do, believe it or not, have to meet up with Anne. She's doing some suppose errands I was talking about earlier to like fix a laptop or something. But I need to sort I've got my hands completely full. I need to get my change back into my pocket. Anne's gonna be like, what the heck did you get a Gabby for? <laughs> and I'll just be like, well, I just felt like it, if you know what I mean. But I need to find back the, the way back to actually get there. There's a cool wee bakery shop down there, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have a quick look at that, guys, to see what the crack is there. Let's have a wee look. Like, I mean, this wee area just continues to surprise me. It was completely derelict or something back there. And then this sort of wee area just beside everything. Down the side streets, if that makes any sense. Just opens up if you get me. 
anyway, let's have a look. What have I got here? There's always some cool things that I haven't really tried before. Ah, let's see. I think... Hi there, my gun thing happen. Yes. How are you? Do you have anything with like sugar on top of it? As like a bread to maybe dip into your coffee in the morning or anything like that? Any not nothing with sugar on it? What about this? This? They look good. That's exactly what I was kinda of looking for. How much are five pesos? Can I get can I get ten of those? Please. There's so many people back in Aberlan who's got the food whenever we get treats. I'm always getting the, I'm always getting given the treats guys, so it's time for me to dish back and maybe give out the treats. So ten of these. That'll that'll be gone in two seconds really. It's <laughs> a big bag. Yeah, ten, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Does anyone ever order ten? Yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> There you go. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Well, guys, 10 of these under wraps here. Thanks again. Sell them up. No, I think I need to try and find Anne again. I don't really know what way she went, if you get me. I think it's down in this direction. Hopefully, I don't see. I don't look at this bag. Like, I don't see anything else that kind of takes my mind off it. I think I'm kind of a bit lost, if that makes any sense. Stuff just getting delivered guys, whatever the heck that is, looks like rice or whatever. And we're back in the clothing section at a different angle. But the most important thing is, I found Anne. She's over here. Did you get sorted with your stuff? Yeah, I got the laptop. Then Look what I got. I, the, <laughs> I get the door. I got you a Gabby. Gabby? Yeah, I got you a Gabby. Look. What the heck? <laughs> did I get I it? For, play Gabby. Yo, yo, did I get it for a good price or not? Well, how much would you pay for that Gabby? Maybe five pesos. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Right, okay. Um, okay, what about for these then? These donut things? Five pesos. Ah, they were five each. I got them for five each. This uh, yeah. Gabby was 17 for some reason. 17? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you buy a Gabby mini Gabby in the market? Because you said you loved Gabby and I was like, oh. it, was, it was 70 70 per kilo, so it was, and this is a quarter of a kilo. Oh my goodness. Why did they overcharge me by so much? <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Can we go there? You want it hollow hollow there? Yeah, let's go okay. for hollow hollow, yeah. I had a coconut weird drink there, it was 10 pesos, it was oh, the normal treat? price I think, yeah. yeah. We walked past it coconut. earlier. But hollow hollow sounds pretty damn good on a hot day like today. Yeah, I don't think I did walk through here, but I can't actually remember exactly being in this. Hey man, how's it going? Exact spot. Um, hollow hollow, kind of close. Yeah, there. Awesome, look, we like dream catcher things in the background too. Awesome guys. Right. On our way to get some halo halo, hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's gonna give it a good mix mix and that it's actually as nice as the last times I've had it. This place keeps on changing, if you know what I mean. Now we've got these big like, I don't know, tarp things above our heads to, I don't know, give us a bit of shade. I'm having to kind of duck in between them all. It reminds me a wee bit of Aberland's market too, actually. Oh wow, well, okay, this is completely opened up. There's all the different fruits, Hello, sir. vegetables. Hi man, you keeping well? You having a good day? What have you got there? What's that? A skin, sir. Skin? A skin. Ah, okay. Well, good luck with that, like, it looks heavy enough anyway. Get it full. Catch you later. On our way, hollow, hollow. Oh, see, you're going through all the waves, but I can't get through. I'm having to, like, scooch my way through. Not bump into anyone too, guys. Anne's just like a, I don't know, like a ninja getting through all these markets. And I'm a big clumsy oaf trying to get through it, if you know what I mean. I want a hollow hollow. Okay. What did you take me here for? <laughs> no, no, we want hollow hollow. Is hollow hollow here too? Is it here as well, Anne? What is she doing to me? All I wanted was hollow hollow, and the next thing you know it, you want chow long instead? The big question is, are you buying? Yeah. You are? Yeah. No way, free hollow hollow on a free bus yeah. journey. This day free just keeps getting hollow. better and better. <laughs> what were you saying? Free hollow hollow now, then free travel. Free travel, I know, I know. It's just anything's better if it's free, obviously, you know. Get these breads in. 
for later. Then <laughs> you're Gabby, I don't know what you want to do. Oh, right? 17 pesos, mine was meant to be five, did you say? <laughs> why would you do that? Why would, <laughs> why would you do that to someone? Yeah. I would never do that to anyone. <laughs> well, guys, look what's just been handed to us our beautiful Halo Halo. I believe that that is Leche Plan on top, and then all this jelly stuff going on. There's the ice shavings and everything going on too. It's served in this cool wee sort of cup as well. I don't think I've had it like that before. You're getting yours all hollow hollowed anyway. Yeah. And it's got the nice, like, I don't know, condensed milk or whatever in it, or evaporated milk. I don't Maybe. know. Jelly and everything going on too. Guys, I think I'll show you a bit of me trying to mix mine. I'll get it started first and foremost, though. Just to try and not to spill it. There's all this black jelly in it. Is that Gulaman? Let's see. Try to get this a bit more in, guys. Let's go. That's good. The ice is actually melting quite quickly, which is good. Sometimes you can get these, right? And then you're just left with loads of ice towards the end after you've eaten everything else. And that can be kind of annoying in my book. But I think I've been able to get a good bit of that mix mixed or, or hollow hollow, as you say. Is it going to be freezing? Obviously it is ice, but let's see what it tastes like. It's so cold. <laughs> a bit too much in. But saying that, I got rid of the ice. It's got a coconut flavour to it, a really, really strong coconut flavour, mm. which is actually very, very tasty. Obviously, the like nice creaminess of the milk. That's always quite good. You know what it reminds me of? If any of you know this drink, a non-alcoholic Bailey's. It's like an Irish cream liqueur. Mm. Show me how it's done. Mm, like that. Mm. Okay, right. I'll give it a go. Can you hold my glass at the bottom? Okay. I need to give us a proper hollow hollow here. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> ah, yeah, you can see all the berries underneath there whenever you do that. See all those things? And all like the jelly and everything. It's good that you can actually see a bit inside that. It makes it a bit more interesting. I think I've just found something. The golden Sorry. nugget, the ube. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna eat this bit of ube. Let's see. Ah, oh, you wanna spill it? I think I had all of that there. Mmm, that's good. Yeah. Ube. I think that also has the coconut flavor to it. I think ube is just the, it stands for the color or something. It's the purplish sort of thing that you get. Guys, the more I'm looking in this, the more I'm finding. Look at all of this. There's like, I don't even know what that part is. There's different like, <laughs> what is that cereal? <laughs> is that yeah, cereal or not? Yeah. yeah, no, I think I've had it with cereal in it before. I think I've also had Rice Krispies. That looks like orange jelly. That's the strawberry jelly. There's the cereal we've obviously just seen. There's the ube I've eaten the loads of. There's something else there. There's like wee jelly balls, if you can see that too. Hold your sana. Sago? Yeah. Time to down this like a champion now, guys. All this lovely goodness. Oh my god, it's so good. I can't have another one, I've just had that one and finished half of arms. But it's so good, it was really, really nice. Do you ever get it from here yourself? Have you tried? No, thank you. I finished. Finished to eat. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, finished to eat. Well, I would definitely recommend it. It's good. Sure, why not? I'll just say out of that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, is that the right thing to say? And there's Anne's change. <laughs> These guys know what you're saying, but I don't, unfortunately. But maybe in the future I will learn to get it better. <laughs> maybe you learn Tagalog to understand your other people. Uh, yeah, I'm learning it. Bits and bobs are coming to me now and again, guys, but it does take time, obviously. Yeah. One by one. Uh, so. go, I'm go. Siggy Siggy means so so. <laughs> or no, sure, 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 isn't it? Yeah. Sure, sure. Thank you. Salma, thank you, thank you. So okay, on our way on this wonderful journey. There's this cool wee bell thing going on too, maybe they trap. Actually, let's see what's going on with this. I just want to see.
That's so cool guys, it's like a wee xylophone sort of style instrument thing going on. I was wondering what that was. Have to show you, have to show you. What's it called? I don't know what's called It looks like a xylophone and then obviously you've got your toy guns and then your wee like horns for... I think that's for the new year. Whenever it's basically midnight everyone will be blowing that all night on the run up to that. Such a good wee vibe in this market. All right, guys, so Anne has just suggested that we go to a lagoon. Now, a lagoon, if I heard that property, means a body of water of some sort. And I don't actually know how to get there. So I think Anne, our lovely tour guide, is probably going to give us a wee walk there. I'll hold the umbrella. I'll make myself useful. And then, I don't know, I think Anne said she wanted to go swimming or something. I don't know if I want to go swimming today. Well, well then don't go in, why did you? Anyway, but Anne said she was going to go swimming, but I don't think that I'll be up to going swimming. I don't think the water will be clean enough, but if Anne goes in, I will give it a go myself. And if not, then, then I won't. But we'll give it a wee look at anyway, guys, while we are here. You want to swim? Only if you go in as well. You promised no. me that you would, and if you don't, then I won't. But if you do, I shall. I will do as the Filipinos do in the Philippines. So whatever you do, I will do. <laughs> I don't want that a lot of people to swim there. Here, you need the umbrella. <laughs> We're in the wrong area here. <laughs> because it's so hard. It's so hard. Go there. But I'm like half in the guys, look, I've got this in that hand. If I'm swapping, I can't I can't do it. <laughs> There's only one way I can do it, unless I like throw the umbrella up and then cut I can I can do it that way. But that's quite difficult to do. Yeah, I think there was a loss or lack of communication going on there, guys. Looking at this, I highly doubt Anne is going to be swimming in this. But, I mean, she does surprise me now and again whenever it comes to these sort of things. In all seriousness, though, that is actually kind of a nice thing. A nice wee sort of view going on there. Because, honest to goodness, there's a wee bridge. If you can see that wee bridge over here, guys, what do you see? But I think that we can actually get across. Now, I say these things and then maybe we won't, but we'll try. We'll try to get over onto that cool wee bridge anyway and see what that's like from that cool perspective. Yeah, cool wee vibe going on, guys. Obviously, we've got the river or whatever it is on that side. And then for these wee vendors or, yeah, vendors on this side, all the way down here, just wee shops, wee knickknacks, bits of coach corn cheese at crisps, different tarps flying about. Not too bad, guys. Quite serene, quite relaxed, quite shady too. You could just sit here and chill out for a while after buying some crisps or knickknacks, or after a hallow hallow, of course. And just contemplate about things, contemplate about life. And just ask yourself all those questions that you ask yourself whenever you're contemplating about life. You enjoying it? Yeah, not too long. Do you want to go swinging together? No, not all of the swinging. Is not really. Fish what fish? No, no fish there. There's not. Oh yes, there are we fish here too. Fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> right, guys, I'm on this swing, so we did decide to go swinging together after all. I'm right beside this swing, so I've got to look at that. <laughs> it's completely broken. Like, do you hear this thing? It's so like. Uh, it's squeaking and it's rickety and everything. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> I'll not do this for long. I'm boring the pants off you guys. You're like, is it gonna fall? Is it not? Is it gonna fall? I you fall down there. <laughs> I don't want to fall, don't you? You want me to fall, don't you? The future me probably does want me to fall for a good, <laughs> good YouTube short or something. I don't know. It's so small there. Just okay. sit on it. Okay, okay. Right, put your I'm legs scary, around it. Like Put, don't worry, put your legs around it. Put your legs around it. <laughs> don't get off it. Oh. oh wait, it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> well, how do you feel? Feel okay. That's your trap. Like that is her trap now, guys. <laughs> no doubt. Never. To... Never. <laughs> like a child going like Right, this. can I just get off it really quickly so that you fall down? Oh, no. Right, I'm just gonna get off it, right? <laughs> I don't actually know if I can. <laughs> right. 
Yes. I need to be careful. Help. Going. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? <laughs> so dangerous. We did it. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Have you got PTSD? Not so dangerous. Probably not. <laughs>